That's a good fighter. <laughs> Come on in here. Oh yeah, he's a pretty good gill. That's what we're talking about. That's a pretty one. Yes, sir. Easy there, guy. All right. Well, guys, we had a big one-inch rain yesterday. Water temperatures have dropped down to 64.8. Sitting at 16 foot deep right here, but yeah, it's changed them. They they're very sluggish. So it definitely did some changing. And today should be a good day to catch them. The moon's right. There he goes. Well, he was starting to. There he is. We tricked him. <laughs> hey, that's a good fighter. Oh yeah, that, that's a pretty good green. So we may have to slow things down a little bit to get him to bite, but yeah, that's a good one. In case y'all guys are wondering how much these uh, smaller ones are, you know, how long these, these are. These are, uh, let me look here. That's seven and a half. He's a good pan hole fryer, so we're gonna take him. Oh, he's there. Well, he, he let go. Let's try another one. I'm wanting an aggressive one. A big one. I want a big one. Where's the big boys at? We gotta be in here somewhere. There he is. I can get him in here. Oh yeah. Look at him fight. <laughs> oh yeah. Now we're talking. He's a little bit better. Give him a little measurement here. Yeah, he's almost eight. These are getting to be nice chunky ones. We'll take it. Well guys, the riding wheel we're using today, we got an Alba Garcia Max X10 spinning reel. That's a light spinning reel. I have a Shakespeare Micro Series, five foot six, light action rod, very sensitive tip and good backbone to set that hook and fight that fish. And then for the lure today, guys, we're just using a slip bobber. We got bobber stoppers here and there. These are very easy to adjust. These are large size bobber stoppers. And uh, we got a one eighth feel cork. And I got a one eighth ounce jig head hook. And what I do, guys, I just loop this runt worm a couple times here and there like that several times and cover that tip of that hook so you can because some of these brim are smart they know better than to bite that tip but anyway we like a painted jig head that draws attention the fish sees it and comes over there then he sees and smells the worm and bites the worm but uh also this jig hook makes a good handle to pop that hook out of that fish's mouth really easy and simple you don't have to use needle nose or nothing you just grab the top of this jig and pop it right out you'll see here in a minute we're still here so i'm going way back in there and wake him up looks good oh yeah he's there <laughs> whoa he's actually he might actually be a pretty good one it's a good fighting fish oh yeah He's a, he's a good hole fryer. We'll take him. Oh yeah, there's, man, there's so many different spots in there that look really good. You gotta just kinda throw it in there and try. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, oh man, this is a, oh, what is this? If that's a brim, he's a dynamite brim. Oh, he got snagged. No! Oh, no, I didn't want to get snagged. Man, that was a good one. Yeah, I guess he got it. That, that was the one I wanted. No, he's still there. Wait, I got that. Got that going on here. There's still something there. Oh, there, there is still something there. <laughs> he wasn't a brim. Hang on, I gotta loosen this line. He beat up my pole a bit. Yeah, he, I'm surprised I still got him. 
I didn't get him in here. I was wondering. <laughs> he wasn't a brim, guys. That's a nice channel cat. <laughs> oh, man. That's fun. It, was, it wasn't fun when I thought I lost him. But I kept seeing something flip down there. I was, hmm. He didn't really get off. But now we're now we're kind of happy <laughs> we ate the other one the other day and it was really good well thank you yeah pull him over that log oh i will <laughs> there we go <laughs> oh yeah he's a pretty one <laughs> We pulled him right over. Yeah, so see how he's pretty, but you can tell he's kind of small. We're still gonna give him a measurement. Show you guys about where these guys are at. That's a seven inch right there. Seven inch. Later. There he is. Wow. He's not as little as I thought he was. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good one. Man, he's dark. Let's see what see how long he is. Yeah, that's a pretty one. Oh yeah, he's eight inches. He ended up being a pretty good one for what I was calling the little one. We'll take him. Maybe. Oh, there he was. Pretty good little fighter. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's not as big as I want, but he's a good one. Nice, pretty brim. Pretty browns on him. Later. There he was. Oh, he's fighting now. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a pretty one another pretty one he, he was a little bigger i'd go ahead and take it but we're gonna give you another chance get off of there there it is later right there oh he was there and i missed him I actually was well, gave up on him, and uh, when I hit the trailer motor, he took it. That's the way. It, that's the way they do. They wait and say, "Oh, you got the trolling motor now, huh?" Well, let me go ahead and jump on it then. I've been waiting for you to grab that trailer motor, where you only have one hand on there and you can't really do nothing. So, anytime you do that, I'll bite. <laughs> <laughs> basically what they're doing see if he'll bite again i had a little nibble oh, there he is wow he's running down the bank it's a good fighter <laughs> come on in here oh yeah he's a pretty good gill that's what we're talking about that's a pretty one. Yes, sir. Easy there, guy. All right. We are going to take him. Oh, if I can get this ice chest open. Back in there is a calm spot, so I'm going to try. There we go. Kind of calm. Now the wind, the waves are getting in there. So it was it was calm enough for me to get him. <laughs> All righty. Oh, that's one of them uh, war mouth. He's a pretty one. He's some pretty good little fighters for their size. Later. Huh. One more and I'm out. Gotta take it this time. Oh, I'm knocking on the door. I'm back in there with him now. He don't like that. Oh, 
got him. I don't know what he is, but I got him. <laughs> yeah. He's not big enough for me. Not today. Alrighty. Later. I like to do a, a trialing knot, so I'll spin this thing one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm gonna go back through the eye again of the hook and grab the side of that and make like a loop, and then I'm gonna pull some of this tag in and make another loop. Put this tag in right through the middle of them. Wet it with your mouth or with the water or whatever, and just snug it up lightly. Just six pound test, Mr. Crappie, so we don't wanna to get too aggressive with it. And then cut about an eighth of an inch. Just leave an eighth of an inch tag on there. And there you go. That's it right there. Then I'll just take a piece of night crawler, put it through there a couple times, make kind of a, a bow, and then cover the tip of the hook so that fish cannot see it and you'll get a lot more bites. And get them. Get them, get them. Dry two or three minutes or it'll be broke again. Whoa, there he is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he was a good fighter. It was a pretty blue gill. He was fun. All right, later. We are just about out of here, guys. It's getting dark on me. So I'm just going to see if I can catch a couple more. Yeah, that's a good... I was going to say, that's a good spot. <laughs> He's a running with us. Well, another little guy. Pretty fish. Later. There he was. <laughs> I had to trick him into biting. <laughs> yeah, I had to trick him a little bit. He did not want to bite. Little guy. them all day oh there he is yeah <laughs> we got another one little guy pretty later